a couple of questions right off the bat. How long does this battery last? How long does it take to charge up this using solar panels? And could you actually use this in an emergency? I guess we'll find out. Frozen water. We're still at four bars. It's been sitting out all night. It's been 25 and a half hours. We're going to do a highly scientific test now. No, I'm just kidding. I'm gonna go like do actual things that you would normally do in your life if you were using this. That's what I'm gonna do. This is the line cooler from Eco Power. And you may look at this and think, oh, it's just a regular portable camping fridge. And there's a lot of those around, but this is a little different. It has a built-in battery and it has a solar charge controller right in here. You can hook this up to solar panels, charge it up, keep it going, and not have to plug it in the wall, not have to have a separate solar generator unit. It's self-contained. And I just find that pretty fascinating. But I'm really kind of curious doing some tests with this to see how practical is this actually in real life? Because the concept, I mean, is super cool. But first of all, let's just take a look at what we've got here. So this is the Lion Cooler X40 Solar Freezer. It has 42 quarts inside, it actually goes kind of below. You have space here, so there's quite a lot of space. The fridge has 173 watt hour battery. And at first, Look, that might not seem like a big battery, but let's find out how long does it actually last. It has a USB output up here if you want to charge your phone or whatever. So this comes with a variety of plugs here. This one to plug the unit into the wall. Um, this one to charge up just the battery and this one to charge up the fridge using the cigarette lighter in your car. It has wheels and a holder, which is actually really handy because I mean, I have other portable refrigerators that don't have wheels on them. And when you fill them up uh, with food, with water, they get really heavy, like heavy, whereas you don't really want to move those. Whereas this, you can fill up with food, you can roll it around uh, with a handle and it's a lot easier. Coldest possible temperature setting is negative four degrees Fahrenheit or negative 20 Celsius. You can obviously go warmer and turn it into a fridge. It also has a drain plug uh, inside, so you can use it as a cooler or a combined freezer cooler. Uh, and there's even an app to control this unit. Now I'm predicting that this is going to be really great for camping, but what I'm curious about is what is it going to be like in an actual emergency? I mean, imagine there's a hurricane coming, natural disaster, and you want to make sure that your grandma has somewhere to keep her medicine cold, um, or you want to make sure you have somewhere to keep your baby's formula cold, that kind of thing. Like the essentials, could this hold up? Because if so, that would be pretty awesome, right? So let's do some tests. Let's plug this in and see how long does it take to get cold. Currently, it's 73 degrees. Let's put it down to 32 degrees. Hold on. 20 minutes later, 34 degrees. Two hours has passed. It's down to zero degrees. I'm gonna put this bottle of water in. Curious to see how long it's gonna take to freeze this. So next morning here, it is definitely cold. It's not completely solidly frozen, but it is pretty frozen. Now, if you're curious, how long did it take to get the gallon of water rock solid? Well, that took three days. So I've had this plugged in, the battery is fully charged. I'm gonna put this in here. I'm gonna run this and see how long this battery lasts with the frozen gallon. It's been about two and a half hours and one bar is down. Negative three. 9.30 at night, only one bar. Okay, it's morning and it's off. It's cold in here. Okay, we're out of battery. So when I was doing my test last night, um, the battery died I and mean, this is completely dead right now. I'm going to start charging this up using the solar panel. This is an EcoPower solar panel, it's 90 watts. The solar panel comes with MC4 connectors 
and uh, it plugs right into the battery. I have a shunt right here to, uh, to see how much power we're getting. Currently we're getting 20 volts. This is not starting on. Either I'll just let it charge. Um, the question is, can you jumpstart the battery from a completely dead battery using only solar? Or do I need to plug it in? I have the solar panels set up right here. Problem is though, there's no power coming in, there's no wattage. Now it's getting 30 watts, 37 watts, now this is on. Okay, so this, in about five minutes or so I would say of charging up on the solar. So obviously you don't want to let your battery die, but after setting it up with my solar panel, um, I was able to get this thing started. So currently at 24 watts, laying down, let's see if we can up that a little bit. So what's the number now? 38.1. So the fridge requires 40 watts to run. Since this is a 90 watt panel in ideal conditions, you should be able to have enough to charge up the batteries and run the unit at the same time. But if you're not getting more than that, uh, you know, it's just running the unit. I know you get so excited as that down here, huh? Sit. There should be a way to um, turn off the unit and just charge the battery. But if you're out and you need to, you know, cool your things up, that's not gonna help you, right? Kind of hazy today. The other thing is obviously you want to keep the fridge in a cool place, ideally in the shade, and while well, keep your solar panel in the sun. Uh, one nice thing that they have provided here are long cables, so that you could technically go quite far away with your solar panel. So after setting up this 90 watt panel in pretty good conditions, I was only able to get like 40 watts. It's a little hazy. But I was curious if I were to double uh, those and add two panels, um, could I increase this? And yes, I'm now being able to draw in about 80, 70, 80 watts, uh, which enables me to charge this a lot faster. So I can charge it up um, in what, probably two hours maybe in these conditions. Of course, you want to make sure that it's the same voltage. So how long does it take to charge up the fridge using the one solar panel? And I've done this a bunch of times now. Uh, and on average, I would say it takes like four to five hours in sunny conditions. So to charge the battery without running the compressor, you shut it off. Hold this for three seconds to see the status, apparently. I guess the one thing about this unit is there are a lot of different factors that determine how well this works. So it's kind of hard to do exact tests because so many variables that changes, um, like how cold is the stuff that you're putting in here, your food, your beverages, whatever. Uh, what setting do you have it on? Do you have it on, on cold, like fridge, freezer, eco setting? Do you have a solar panel hooked up to it? And if so, um, that's going to fluctuate enormously depending on the situation. And you, you have to remember, in order for solar panels to work really well, you do have to stay on top of them. You have to move them around as the sun moves. You make sure that there's no shade on them. And if you are really in a situation where you're concerned, like there's an emergency, you have no power, this is your, your, your only source of refrigeration, well, Having two batteries would probably be a good idea so that you can keep one charged up and you can switch them out and that's going to give you more peace of mind. Completely charged. Inside here I have a bottle of almost frozen water. Run this on the eco setting and I'm going to be running it like as if this was a fridge. And I'm curious to see how long is this going to last. Mimicking if you were to have cold food and drinks already in the unit. It is now 11 o'clock. I am predicting over 24 hours really. Eco mode, fridge setting, something cold in here already but we'll see. Okay it is 2.30. We still have four bars. I figured for a more accurate test, I should probably keep it outside in the shade, uh, as you would. Um, it's almost four o'clock, so it's been five hours. We're still at four bars. So it's 8.34 in the morning and we have two bars here. It's been sitting out all night. So it's 11 o'clock now. Uh, it's been 24 hours. It has one bar, so we'll see how much longer uh, it will last now. It's been 25 and a half hours, it's still working, one bar. I'm gonna move it out of the sun then. It's now two o'clock in the afternoon, which means it's been going for 27 hours. So 37 degrees, which is higher than I set it to, of course. I have one bar, 
Now, in the name of research, I'm just gonna let it go that normally, you know, you would wanna put the solar panel on now, you don't wanna run the battery all the way down. But, you know, I'm curious how long it will last. Pretty much showing no battery left. It's been 28 hours, the bridge is still going. Going on 29 hours now. Let's see if it's cold inside. Oh yeah. It's after four now in the afternoon and I put it in yesterday at 11. 29 hours. Since it's saying F1 here, I should really plug it in and not to bring the battery down all the way. Uh, but wow, it lasted quite a long time. Uh, you probably shouldn't take it this far. Uh, but definitely way past 24 hours, which is really cool. So here's their app and you can see exactly what's going on with the fridge. So it's a nice app, it's Bluetooth. It's nice that um, you can control it, especially if you were having it inside your vehicle or something, and you wanted to change it and you didn't want to access it physically. It's nice to be able to use the app. So I've been testing this now for a couple of weeks. And my initial question was like, first of all, is it good for camping? I guess, totally, it's also for camping. But would it be good in an emergency? And I, I'm gonna say yes, totally. It would be really good in an emergency. I mean, based on my test that this actually in the fridge eco setting lasts up to 27 hours or more uh, without any charging. And obviously you wouldn't want to do that. You would wanna keep the solar panel going, you know, whenever it's sun and you wanna stay on top of it. But the fact that that's possible, is really really neat. The other thing about this unit, which I actually kind of like, is that it doesn't give you a ton of information because you don't need it. Like if you're a geek and you want to see like, oh I want to see exactly how much wattage is coming in through the solar panels and all that, you need a shunt, you need all that. Uh, but if you want to have like your grandma being able to use this, in the case of an emergency, you don't want her to be all confused about things, you want her to be able to just plug the thing in, see oh the battery's moving, it's charging, oh I can see here how many bars it has and that's good enough. So I actually kind of like that they have taken all that like nonsense away from the equation um, and just made it really simple. Now there's a link in the description if you're curious about this unit and it is more expensive than regular portable camping fridges and freezers. But I mean, there is a reason for that. I mean, it has that built-in solar charge controller and battery. So you don't have to buy a secondary solar generator to go as the in-between between your solar panel and then the charging unit and then your fridge. It's like all in one package, which is why I think it's really appealing. And the fact that it actually works. I mean, I've been testing it out and from my experience, it's been working really well. I mean, I've even taken it to the grocery store uh, where I just put the, you know, the battery on, I keep it cold, I have a bit of a drive to go to the grocery store, I fill it up with frozen and cold stuff and then go back and uh, you don't have to think about plugging it in or keeping in other solar charge controllers. I just like that there's no additional thing to bring with me. Um, but anyway, this was a really fun video to make. Um, I hope you, uh, I hope you learned something or had some fun, I did. Thanks so much for watching guys and I'll see you soon.